Let's start. Obviously, it's going to be NFL. It's an NFL Monday. But um, big game that was on was the San Francisco 49ers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And one of the reasons it was big, both teams obviously in the playoff hunt. San Francisco looks like it's going to win the NFC West. And um, it did look like Tampa Bay was going to win the NFC South by default. Not so that fast. That might be in jeopardy, yes. But uh, also because Brock Purdy, who was Mr. Irrelevant in the last draft, that means he was the last player drafted in 2022. Uh, I'm sorry, two th- yeah, 2022. And he was starting now for the San Francisco 49ers because Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt, and obviously Trey Lance got hurt before him. So Brock Purdy's the third-string quarterback starting for one of the better teams in the league. And, of course, Tom Brady, viewed by most as the GOAT, was starting for the Buccaneers. And Brady had never lost, Rob, to a rookie starter who was making his debut. And... um of course, he not only lost, but lost big. They were walloped by the 49ers, 35-7, and it wasn't even that close. And that's true. It was not that close. And Brock Purdy played well, Rob. Um, threw for 185 yards, most of it in the first half. They kind of took their foot off the gas. There was no need. There was no reason to, Chris. The, the right. Bucks weren't going. You, you don't want to throw the ball keep time on the clock or give them an easy score with an intercept. You don't have – that's that's yep. coaching. You, you you got the lead. They're not doing anything. Run the football, you know, pass on third down to get a first yep. down, Chris. That's it. And they ran – and especially when it's working. They ran for over 200 yards. Right. So. <laughs> you just keep, you just keep the, running. Right, right. Um, but Purdy had two touchdowns, Rob, no interceptions, and a rushing touchdown – what do you think? A lot of people are, you know, jumping on the Brock Purdy bandwagon. He's this, he's that. What are your thoughts? I have no thoughts this early as far as the the, the chances of them in the postseason. This, this is different from the postseason. So it's a nice start, Chris. Do I Going into the postseason, am I going to check the box for the 49ers? I'm not there yet. I need to see a little bit more. Because, you know, when you get out to a big lead like that and you have a situation where a team is struggling, you, you, you put the quarterback out of harm's way. It's easier to have a good game. And that doesn't mean he can't play or I'm discounting him or I'm, you know, I'm just saying there comes a time when you might be in a playoff game, Chris, where you're not up 21 nothing, and you need your quarterback to throw you back in the game or whatever it may be. And so I, I don't know. So I'm gonna. Uh, the jury's still out for me, but a nice win, a nice start. But I'm I'm not ready to crown them anything. Yeah, I mean the jury on Brock Purdy has to be out. I, I think anyone would say that the jury is still out. He's played not even two games. He's played seven quarters. Now he's looked very good in those quarters. Um, looked good when he came in for Garoppolo after Garoppolo got injured against Miami. And uh, it was early, so Brock Purdy helped build that lead and get that win over Miami. And then, like you said, they had a big lead, but Purdy helped build that lead with his yeah, touchdown yeah. passes and even his run. Um, but you got to wait and see. We've seen Mike White look great. We've seen Cooper Rush look very good. Um, Bailey Zappi look great. You, you see these guys step up. As we talk about, they're going to get tape on him at some point. And you'll start to know his tendencies, and then it'll get a little tougher. But he does look good. Um, five touchdowns, one pick in his seven quarters. Um, they couldn't have looked much better on Sunday. And what I'll say is this about the playoffs. As you said, I mean, we don't know how he's going to perform the rest of the regular season. But the reason that I give them a shot in the playoffs is because – the NFC is just bad this year. The only team I definitively put ahead of the Niners, who are great around Purdy, great. You know, Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, we just heard Steve DeSager say he'll be back from the sprained ankle before the end of the regular season. At least that's what they're saying. The defense is the best in the league, or certainly arguably the best in the league. Receivers, running backs, tight end, George Kittle, they got it all. 
offensive line is powerful. Um, and the only team, Rob, in the NFC that I would put ahead of them definitively, in my view, some might not even put them, is Philadelphia. Um, we'll get to Dallas later, but I'm not, I, I, I'm not ready to give them anything. Tampa, we'll get to in a moment, looks horrible. Um, I mean, Minnesota, Rob, we'll, we'll get to them. Detroit, uh, Detroit looks good. It just handled the 10 win Minnesota Vikings. You know, as, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. They would. And we, I just, I had no idea that they were giving up the most yards. Of, you know, when you have a 10 and 2 record, we've never been on the Vikings, okay? Neither one of us right. all year. But I didn't know how porous their defense was. I I, no. I did not know that they were last, Chris, in the league with giving up yards. I did. And not Detroit know that. has a good offense, right? You right. Know? They can score. They have a good right. offense. Yep. And so that's my thing, Rob. Um, and and it and it's not just about the quarterback. We just talking about Tom Brady, who even at this point is still better at forty five than Brock Purdy. But Brady's lost to PJ Walker, Brock Purdy, uh, uh, Kenny Pickett, like. You know, we don't have, the list is too long, Chris. Right. We don't even have space on the internet for all the names. <laughs> so, the quarterbacks in the NFC playoffs: Dak, uh, Joe. Uh, I mean, uh, Jalen Hurts, Kirk Cousins, Brady. They're not scaring you. Brock Purdy, maybe Jared Goff, maybe Tyler he- Taylor Heineke, Daniel Jones. Who knows? And so that's why I do give them a shot. Because they're so good around Purdy. And, you know, we'll see if he can keep up playing as solid as he has. The other team, though, Rob, and I know you're dying to get to this one. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'm just going to be brief. I'm writing them off. I'm done with them. Um, Meaning they may still – I don't – they're not a lot to win that division. They got to play Carolina. Carolina's won three or four. They, um, what, they're what playing are they better doing, without Chris? Baker Mayfield. Darnold, you know, they're not. I'm not saying Darnold's been no, great, but no, they beat no. Seattle yesterday. Yeah, that was and, shocking. Um, they beat Tampa. Rob, they beat Tampa 21-3 earlier in the year. So what I'm saying is, they're not a lock to win that division. But even if they do, let's assume they do. Rob, I, I, I'm saying it. No way they get out of the NFC. No way Tampa Bay, which is a bad team gets out of the NFC. So, yeah, I'm writing them off. Yeah, I mean, you always thought that they'd have a puncher's chance with Brady, but, Chris, I think yesterday was another example. We've seen it all year, and there have been right. a couple. You know, I always call Brady the low, the luckiest of all time, and he's won a couple of games. He had no business winning. What was the game they won last week? You remember they were dead all well, game. they rallied, and he, he did rally. Yeah, no, I know, but, but, if, against the Saints. But, but, but also the Saints stepped out of bounds. You don't want to play right. that, that killed them. But my point is, this is this has been them all year. They've struggled all year, and to think that some switch is going to be, you know, flicked, and the playoffs wow. come and they turn into a juggernaut. I'm with you. I don't see it. I, I just I I cannot get over like how off. And now they say everything's on the table for Brady from which is just shocking to me from retiring. After you could have repaired and saved your marriage, maybe, but Chris, maybe it's deeper than that. So, so I, he's hope, over t- I hope so. Right, because if he retires I, I, after this right. year, that would be like, like really? Well, I, I, I think if, it's got to be more. If he retires and the marriage was was going south anyway, that's one thing. But Rob, I, I hope to, and, and I got to be honest, Rob, I don't care if he would have been the MVP and won the Super Bowl. If he got divorced because of football, right. I got After you. all he's already done at his age, come on, man. I right. hope after twenty two years, it's got to be deeper. I'm with you, okay. Right. But and then they say he could uh, come back to the box, or he could go to another team. Like you know, you, you yeah, hear the I think he rumbles will. I think about he the will, Patriots Rob. maybe going back there or something. But anyway, yeah, I mean, Tom Brady two picks yesterday. Chris, I, I don't. He doesn't look like he has any connection with the receivers. What what is? I don't Part see of it. Is that because his offensive line is bad and because he's ancient, he's trying to get rid of the ball really fast because he don't want to take up. a pop. Right, he don't want to take a pop, and um, I, that's a part of it. But br- look, do I think he can go to another team, a Las Vegas, a San Francisco, a, you know, a pretty good team and do something? Maybe. I mean, he doesn't look horrible to me, but he's certainly not just a guy like a Mahomes. 
or Burrow or Allen who at this, or Aaron Rodgers a year ago who's just going to make it happen based on himself. Right. You know, the, the offensive line is banged up. They got no run game whatsoever. Like you said, his connection with his receivers isn't there anymore. He doesn't have the tight end blanket in Gronkowski that he's used, used to having. And he needs a lot more help uh, at this stage of his career. So, I, yeah, Rob, I, I think they're done. The only reason anyone, and some people I'm sure do this, Rob, but the only reason anyone would give them a prayer is two words, Tom Brady. And that's just based on not what you've seen this year. No, no, that's on, rep- on his that's on reputation. Right. Right. Absolutely. It's like say, it's like when we say, and granted, we've seen a tad, a tad bit more, Rob. It's like when we say, oh, they don't count out the Lakers. They got LeBron. Okay, that's it, though. I mean, and LeBron's playing better than Brady is, for sure. But um, it's just reputation. And right. It's not, not based on, right, 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 right. Absolutely. Not current stuff. All right. 